Hey there everybody, this is Adam Zundel at the Mountain East Conference and this is the first of several videos that are going to help get you used to using StatCrew software. This video is going to be a brief overview of StatCrew, what kind of reports it generates and where to find them and how to generally navigate through the software. Now the best way to learn the software is to use it yourself, so I encourage you to use your laptop and follow along and then after the video is over, go ahead and use it yourself. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get real basic and talk about what exactly is StatCrew. StatCrew is the primary statistical software that most sports use at the NCAA level. Football, basketball, soccer, lacrosse, ice hockey, all of them use StatCrew and even more. Um, StatCrew allows you to do in-game live statistics, so whether you watch it on ESPN or you're watching a game tracker or stat broadcast, all of that starts with stat crew and then at the end of the game it allows you uh, gives you box scores and it allows you to compile stats for complete season and then also beyond that you can combine multiple seasons to get uh, a snapshot of a player's career so what are the different components and we will get into this and I'll show you here in just a bit when you open up stat crew there are several different functions there are career reports season reports game reports Utilities, uh, for most sports it's, uh, it's in DOS and in some it's not. And the live scoring function which is DOS, that's when you actually go in do the stats. To, to review these, the career reports, as I said before, you can go and say that John Smith played from 2000 to 2004 and you can get his entire career broken down by year and then total if you go to those reports and you've compiled them correctly. Season reports are simply uh, your season statistics in all sports. And then the game reports, as I mentioned before, are the box scores. And the utilities is where you do the roster maintenance, you do the pack files to exchange, uh, the rosters, as I said, to exchange, and the live scoring is where you do the actual scoring. So how does it work? This is where it gets a little technical. The software uh, generates specific files for each sport. So you are able to create a roster file for volleyball. And that way you can exchange that and send it to another school. They bring in your roster. And so they're not messing with uh, Jenny Smith, who you spell G-J-A, <laughs> let's try it again, J-E-N-N-Y, and somebody else spells it crazy like I was trying to do, J-E-N-N-I. So it's always going to be the same. It's always going to be your roster. Those roster files have the extension RO at the end. Uh, there's you could go on and on with all the sports, but for volleyball it's VRO, basketball's BR, BRO, uh, football's FRO. So it doesn't always correspond with the name of the sport because you'll have some overlap, but that's kind of the rule of thumb. Okay, so after you've done that, you generate what's called a packed file. And what a packed file does is it takes all of the data within inside of that game and packs it into one compact file. So you don't have to send multiple files. There's a play-by-play. The actual game file, the roster files are all contained in that packed file. Okay, so uh, maybe I should have reordered this, but a game file is also um, specific. So you've got a VGM, BGM, FGM. So once you unpack a file, one of those files inside of there is the actual game file where the statistics are generated. Okay, and then this allows you to exchange the files to help keep consistency and build stats for teams and season and eliminates, uh, you know, duplicating work. Because if you uh, are not there at a soccer game, you can rely on the other SID to send you that file. And all you have to do is bring it in and you have the stats from that game. All right, what do you need to do to get started? We'll walk through this here again in just a little bit as we open up the laptop and do it. You have to create your directory so that knows that this roster belongs in this particular year. So you always name your roster by the name of your school. If you're Glenville State, it's GSC, or Fairmont State, FSU. Okay, so that FSU.VRO roster is your volleyball roster. Now, where it belongs, whether it's 2014, 2013, that's in the directory. So that's how it knows how to separate it by year and what players and how to, how to uh, continue to accumulate those things without having to name it FSU 14, FSU 13, because they're separated by directories, and directories are almost always separated by year. So you have to create your roster inside that directory, and then you go ahead and uh, you know give it a shot through utilities as you go through, and again, practice and test drive. So how do you score live? 
You need to have the knowledge of the sport and the statistical guidelines which are provided by the NCAA. Just because you have watched soccer your entire life does not mean that you know how to score, be an official scorer for soccer. Okay, so there are certain things that you'll that you won't even know you don't know until you actually go through it. And the scoring is done in a program uh, that's DOS. So it, so it looks very old. Um, there are some next-gen software that is available, but for the most part, um, it is in DOS. And it's, it, it looks old, but it's actually pretty, uh, pretty uh, user-friendly. Some people don't like it, but um, it's okay. And then the scoring, the way that you actually score is by coding. And every play and every sport has a particular code. Let's just use basketball for example. A shot by 24 that's good goes in as an S24G. So that's how the, the software knows what happened in that play. And of course you can have a running clock and it'll record when that shot was taken and, uh, and, and things like that. So that's basically how you score it live. So the game's over, and now what do you do? We need to share the file and generate the reports. That's the bottom line. Okay, as we said, if you are scoring it live, you need to share it with the other SID that wasn't there or other or the conference, um, and you also need to sh sh uh, generate the box score. So the packed file, as we said before, contains all of the data that happened in that game. And then the game reports, you bring it into your directory, and it produces the box score. And then again, you once you've brought it into that directory, it already goes ahead and adds it to that season. So if you were 2-1 and one and you bring in that file and you lost that game and you then uh, you import that file, you go to your season stats. If you've done it correctly, your record should now be 2-2. Two and two. All right, good job, everyone. We've officially walked you through Stat Crew. You now know the basics of what it is, how it does it, and what it can actually do. Thanks for watching this video, and good luck to you.